Yo, gentlemen's game here. Real quick, I just wanted to thank you guys for helping me reach 750 subscribers. It's been an awesome journey so far, and I'm really hoping to hit a thousand by next month. So click here to subscribe to help support the community that we're building together. I remember back in high school, I had a huge crush on this girl in my English class. I'd spend all class looking over at her. She was just so beautiful to me. The way her hair flowed down to her shoulder, the way she did her makeup, it had me head over heels for her. The only problem was, whenever the opportunity came to talk to her, I had absolutely no idea what to say. When I tried to make small talk, it just came across as awkward and forced. I'd say random stuff to her, like how her day was or whatever, but I could tell she was just responding out of courtesy, not because she liked me or anything. I simply had no idea how to flirt, how to talk to her in a way that aroused her. Can you relate to this at all? Have you ever been in a situation where you're standing in front of a girl you find super attractive, but when the time comes to open your mouth to flirt, you just freeze up or end up saying something weird and awkward? Probably. After spending years figuring out what works and what doesn't, I came up with an acronym to use to flirt with any girl in almost any situation. I call it SADIC, and what the letters stand for are SEED, ASSUMPTION, TEASE, INVESTMENT, AND COMFORT. Let's start with the first one, SEED. This means that at the beginning, when you first meet her, you're essentially planting the seed. Now, what exactly does that mean? It means you're letting her know your intent, you're letting her know the premise of the conversation that it's between a man and a woman. Surveys actually show that when a woman first meets a guy, she decides within the first 10 seconds whether or not she'd consider sleeping with him. Meaning that you need to plant the seed right away that you're talking to her as a man to a woman, not as a friend, or else you end up in the friend zone. So here's a few ways to plant the seed. You can do it verbally, with a direct compliment for example, like, hey you look amazing. Or you can say something to imply that you two will be together, like, a Frank Ocean shirt? Alright, it's official. We were meant to be lovers. You can also plant the seed of being man to woman through body language as opposed to words. Things like making strong eye contact, talking slowly and in a low tonality, leaning in when you talk to her, all help plant the seed of your intention. The next letter in the static acronym is A, which is assumption. After you've planted the seed to give the conversation a sexual vibe, what I like to do is start making assumptions about her based on her appearance, like her dressing style, her facial expressions, or how fast she's walking. The reason why I really like this part is because it lets you start conversations on the spot, and it's way better and more fun than just awkwardly asking her question after question like some sort of interview. So some examples of assumptions could be something like, you look like you're training for the gymnastics gold medal in the Olympics, or wow you have such a happy face on, let me guess, just found out you got into your dream art school? Many times when you make these assumptions, the girl will be curious why you made that assumption, which will get her contributing more to the conversation by correcting you. Making these assumptions directly leads to the next letter, T, which is for teasing. Teasing a girl in the right way is so important in flirting that the difference between doing it well and doing it poorly will probably determine whether or not she starts to feel attraction for you. What I like to do is use the assumptions I made about her and then exaggerate it even more using humor to break the tension. Here's an example of an assumption leading into a tease. I just saw you in that dress and I knew for a fact that she has to be here for that New York modeling event. Yeah, that's definitely it. You're probably some type of judge or something. I can see it now. You with your arms crossed and your nose in the air saying something like, Oh, that model needs to walk with her head at a 15 degree angle lower to her left or something like that. Again, we use the assumption we just made about her being here for the modeling event to tease her about being a tough judge. A good way to practice teasing is to play the game, if this is true, X must be true too. So practice making assumptions about these girls, then ask yourself, if that assumption is true, then what else must be true too? This will naturally let you find things to exaggerate about her into teasing. So the next letter, I, stands for investment. Basically, at this stage, you're trying to get her more invested and interested in you. You can do this through telling funny or cool stories that lets her know your personality, your values, or even what you want for the future. This is the part where she realizes that you're a cool dude that'd be a great fit for her. A great way to build investment is to have a narrative about the two of you. And what I mean by this is that almost all girls want to be swept off their feet by their Prince Charming in a fairy tale type of story. If you can create a story as to why you two are together, then it'll make her that much more attracted to you. An example of creating this narrative could be something like, What? You're wearing a marshmallow t-shirt? Wow, this was meant to be. The universe wanted us to go to a marshmallow rave together. And finally, the last letter, C, 
for comfort. At this stage of the interaction, assuming you've done everything else correctly, you're just trying to get to know her better. Ask her questions about herself that'll get her to start opening up to you. Studies show that when people, especially girls, open up about themselves to others, they feel a stronger connection to that person. So by getting her to talk more about herself, it's a way higher chance she'll want to see you again. At this point, you're not really flirting with her anymore. You're showing her that you're a real genuine person that she can see herself being with in the long term. So that's it for the video. To summarize, my guide to flirting can be broken down into the acronym SADIC, which stands for Seed, Assumption, Teasing, Investment, and Comfort. It's important that you go through these steps in like a sequential order. For example, she's not going to want to open up about herself to you yet unless you build attraction from her. So it doesn't make sense to jump straight into trying to build comfort right off the bat. Alright, next week, I'm going to be starting a new series that I think you guys will really enjoy. So click here to subscribe, and as always, peace.